friends and welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. Today we are going to be covering the upcoming Nordstrom anniversary sale. It is not too far in the distance here. I cannot believe we are already in July. How did that happen? My summer has been a little dampened having had surgery and all that, but I'm making a comeback. I'm getting better. Thank you guys so much. You've been watching me uh, recover on screen here, but coming back to you to talk about this sale, it usually happens in July. We're gonna cover the dates. I'm gonna give you some tips. Um, just kind of give you a little bit of general info about the sale, how it works, and I'm gonna share my wish list as well as just a few things that stand out to me on the sale because they've already released the preview. Um, we are gonna focus heavily on the beauty side because it's kind of my niche, but we'll be covering other things too, some fashion, um, accessories and whatnot. So if all of that interests you, stick around and we'll hop right on in. All right, guys. So welcome. If you are new here, I am Cher. On my channel, I cover a lot of different beauty topics, especially, but I do really pay attention to different sales out there, especially the ones that affect my beauty niche. Um, I have not always shopped the Nords from sale, um, but I have, you know, a couple times and especially now I've really gotten into dipping my toes into luxury beauty, um, the luxury niche a little bit. And so this year I'm definitely kind of focused on it and want to at least follow it and give you guys some pointers and point out things that I think may or may not be deals um, and just kind of highlight things for you. So I definitely am wanting to cover this one, but you know, I cover other sales too. And so this is one of my favorite topics. I love finding the deals out there. I also love to cover just a lot of latest breaking makeup and beauty and um, things in the industry. And you'll notice I'm a huge beauty box channel here too. So um, you'll see a lot of things like spoilers, unboxings, try-ons and reviews. So anyway, if all of those things are your vibe, you'll want to stick around um, and not miss a lot of the sales I have out there. I will be probably kind of following and, you know, if there's deals, I'll be sharing them both on my like to know page. So I will put that handle for you to follow. And I also have a brand new shop that I've gotten set up at Shop My US. So you can follow me um, in those places where I'll just share things that I see, but I'm going to try to cover a lot today that I have my eye on. So I will let you know that I like to do timestamps for you in case it gets long and I babble too much or there's only certain things you're interested in, you wanna skip past the intros. I will provide timestamps for the discussion today because we are gonna have a couple different sections. I first want to start off sharing with you guys just a little bit about the sale, um, what to expect from it, what it's like, and kind of general tips about it. And then we will move into, um, we're gonna focus a lot on like the beauty niche uh, at first. So I do wanna kind of share from the beauty perspective and highlight like what could or could not be deals. And then we're gonna cover my wish list and things I really have my eyes on. And guys, one of the biggest tips I can actually give you for the sale is it does get overwhelming and trying to sort through everything yourself. You're like, you don't know where to start. So actually watching influencers videos like this or watching their recommendations on like the like to know um and instagram is actually a really great technique for finding things because they'll highlight things you might never have noticed before um so this is kind of one of my tips actually is watch our videos and um and see what all stands out to you too because Believe me, there will be things you miss. So, And I'm going to be watching others as well. Like, oh, wow, I didn't even notice that, you know. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so the Nordstrom anniversary sale, what is it exactly? So Nordstrom, you know, it is a high-end um, department store. Sells a lot of luxury items. Everything from fashion um, and, you know, shoes, accessories, bags, to home goods, luggage, um, and beauty as well. So a lot of designer brands, a lot of, you know, just, just your higher end products you're going to find there. The sale happens this time of year. It is a huge sale. Everybody's a buzz about it. And it's because it's, you know, luxury items that are pretty discounted. A lot of hype around it for a reason. Now, one of the unique things about this one is that 
unlike a lot of other sales. So a lot of other sales, they're kind of putting clearance items out there. They're putting old stuff out there. Um, you know, things on the racks that have been around a while or whatever. The Nordstrom sale though, actually previews their brand new fall items sometimes on this sale. So you're actually not always getting old stuff. I will say though, that's not the case in beauty. And we'll talk about that when we get to beauty. But you can find a lot of things like for the fall. So my recommendations are definitely, um, you know, if you are in the market right now where you need a good pair of boots, you need a good trench coat, um, nice coats for the fall and winter season, shop those items on the sale. Um, another nice thing about it is, you know, you have different tiers, which we'll talk about in a minute too, but when something sells out, it does not necessarily mean it's all the way sold out. Like some other sales out there, they actually do restock on this sale. So if you see something sold out, don't give up, keep going back, they might restock it. So those are a couple of tips to you and a few things that can kind of be different about this sale. So the sale will be starting July 15th for everybody, for the general public. However, they will start the early access sale as early as July 9th. And they have different tiers. Um, how do you get access to this early, early access sale? Basically what it means is you have to be a credit card holder with Nordstrom. So you need a, a Nordstrom card. And depending on your tier level, how much you spend and how much credit you have on this credit card, you're gonna be placed in one of three different categories. So the icons are definitely the highest, most prestigious level, and you get to start shopping first on July 9th. Um, the next level up is gonna be ambassadors. You get to start on July 10th, and then your lower level of the card holders are the influencers. Very confusing. A lot of people think influencers like me. And I was thinking, why don't I get to shop? I'm an influencer. Can I shop on July 11th, please? No, it's just what they call their card holder that's kind of at that bottom status of the card holders are the influencers. And they get to start on July 11th. Anyway, those are kind of your tiers and your early access people. The rest of the public here, we start on the 15th. Um, however, they've already released the previews, which means we get to already start seeing what all is going to be on the sale and a lot of folks that are early access and the, the actual influencers <laughs> will start sharing deals that they see even as early as now. So be on the lookout for all of those. And that's part of what I want to share with you guys today too. So let's talk a little bit about I've kind of given you insight into a couple of tips already. Um, I think my overall tip though for you guys on where do I think the best deals are and where is it really worth it on this sale? As I said before, you really probably want to be looking at like fall, um, have fall in mind, which here in Florida guys is very hard to do. July and August are the absolute hottest months of the year in my town in Florida where it's like, as hot as the surface of the sun. So to be thinking about fall is really hard for us. I don't start wearing boots until probably more like about end of November and December here in Florida. But keep this in mind, uh, most of you guys don't live here in this hot state. You're gonna start seeing fall as early as maybe even August, I don't know, September maybe. So you lucky dogs. <laughs> but anyway, so great time to start looking for fall, especially, you know, fashion. Um, kids clothes. Okay. So for example, my son loves like sports brand names. He's very into like Nike and Adidas and Puma and you know, all of those kind of things. So I am checking out like the Adidas section for boys and there's some deals on Adidas right now. So things like that. And he always needs clothes because he grows like a giant. So I'm always needing clothes for him. So I need them anyway. So great time to shop for that kind of thing. Um, I need a new pair of cowgirl boots because mine broke. So I'm definitely gonna be scoping out some cowgirl boots on this sale. Things like that, you know, thinking of like your fall wardrobe that you're gonna need. Um, also, I would say just some of those classic things that we all love. We love our coach purses. We love our Michael Kors. We love Tory Burch. <laughs> you know, some designer names out there, um, especially in things like a purse, a handbag, luggage, you know, 
great time to try to find some deals on those. I tend to love to shop for things like sunglasses. I'm not a huge jewelry person as far as, like I like a lot of fun just costume jewelry. I don't have to have designer jewelry personally. Um, but you know, like I occasionally like like a Kendra Scott piece. Um, so things like that where you can find some deals. Um, I will tell you though, I'm going to be honest, as I was scoping through the previews, I did not see a lot of styles this year that really spoke to me though. I, I don't know. But I also noticed um, I'm still in the summer frame of mind when it comes to my purses right now and bags. I'm not even thinking about fall. And I think that's part of what it is that there were more fall appropriate pieces out there and I'm still loving the really spring, summery, bright colors at the moment. So that might be why for me. So again, you kind of have to almost shift your thinking to fall, I think, for this sale, even though it's happening in the summer in July. Those, I think, are a lot of the areas you, you really want to look at is the, the classic things we all love um, and those fall new pieces. So let's talk specifically about beauty now, um, because that is especially my niche and my expertise area. I am a professional makeup artist and, you know, I'm big on the makeup and the skincare and whatnot. I'm getting really into fragrance too on my channel. Um, so let's talk beauty for the moment at Nordstrom. Okay, so of course, you know, all the beauty you're going to see is going to be high-end luxury beauty. Now I cover the sales on a lot of beauty items and I cover a lot of the beauty boxes. So in perspective of those sales and comparing them to those, you know, for me, this sale isn't that great, honestly. However, if you're a luxury enthusiast and you have certain brands that are your favorites or certain brands you wanna try that are very um, high end, this is the time to grab them. So it's a yes and no. Um, I've covered Sephora sale, I cover the Ulta sale, I cover Macy's a lot, but see Macy's tends to have a lot of sales very often and they'll have 30% off a lot. They have their friends and family sale. They have a sale pretty much for every holiday. So probably around the same time here, in just a few days, we're probably gonna see a great 4th of July sale from Macy's and you'll see all these same pieces discounted at Macy's. So, there's not as much special in beauty on this sale as to what you're not already going to see um, throughout the year, I think, like particularly at Macy's and particularly on each of these sites, their websites, their brands, actual sales too. But it's still, you know, a nice time to throw some of this beauty in there if you're interested. I just think that if you're coming only from a beauty perspective, this isn't necessarily the striking sale for you, I think. Um, we're talking maybe 30%, 35%, 36% maybe at the most, okay? So still, I mean, it's decent, but it's not just earth shattering. You're not going to be seeing half off usually. And on top of that, you'll notice that a lot of the beauty items tend to be more on sale as bundles. So it doesn't tend to be as many single items. You're going to have to buy them in bundle sets, okay? So that's kind of a downside too. So this is part of why I would say from the beauty perspective, not necessarily my favorite sale, but I think overall, if you're shopping it for a lot of different things and you throw some nice beauty items in there too, as a luxe enthusiast, I think that's more the advantage of it, if that makes sense. So having said that, I'm going to uh, just point out a few things that um, stand out to me on the sale in beauty. Okay, because I have a lot of these items, I thought that I would just kind of highlight some that I have that I can speak for. Um, most of these, you know, it's like it's a deal if you want to grab them and try them, so you might as well. Um, but keep in mind, a lot of them are, like I said, going to be sold in sets. So the first thing we have here is the Charlotte Tilbury set that I think a lot of people are interested in this one um, because it includes a highlight of hers as well as a couple of the her beauty wands. And her beauty wands are very popular and it's kind of your chance to try it if you haven't. You're going to get the Hollywood Glow Glide Highlighter, a pillow talk. Um, you're also going to get 
her Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm, as well as her Blush Wand in the Pillow Talk shade. So her classic like Pillow Talk. So a nice way to try her little wands, but as well as um, a full highlight too. Again, it's as a set, so it just depends on if you've been in the market for that. As well as the Apilla Top Lip Kit, you're going to be getting a lip liner, a lip stick, and a lip gloss all in the Pillow Talks. I have um, a couple of the Pillow Talk ones. Here is a swatch of it. And normally this is $95 value for all three. You're going to be getting this for $65 though. We've also got the Benefit uh, three different mascaras is going to be on sale for $30 on this sale, which I think is a steal. And I have tried all three of these mascaras and love them all. You're going to get Roller Lash. You're going to get the Bang, which I have right here. Um, show you the wand. This is the one that I have currently like in my possession. And then you're also going to get Fan Fest as well. Um, all three of these are amazing. Benefit is amazing when it comes to lashes and brows, guys. So I think that's a great steal. Um, normally it's valued at $48. The one that's a great steal is you're going to get two of these Idol Lash um, mascaras. Normally they're like $30 each, so but you're gonna be getting it on sale for 33. So it's like almost like two for the price of one. And I do really love this mascara. I've been gifted this a couple of times from Lancome. So I just figured I would mention it. That is a great grab. And similarly, I love the Idol. This is my favorite eyeliner, the Idol Precision Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner Duo. Absolutely love this one. It is very, um, now this is the dark brown one. I like the black one and I think it's the black one. Yes, it's the black one being shown in the pictures. Um, but this is like my favorite one because it makes such a precise, precise line. If you are someone who loves a big, bold wings, it might not be for you because it's a little better, I think, for like those delicate little wings. But I really feel like it helps you grip it better. It is like my favorite liquid liner, honestly. Um, I've heard some negative from some friends that are influencers too. Uh, I think they might have had a bad batch that they had tried, but I have always loved it. This is like my absolute favorite. And while we're talking about Lancome still, we also have the, um, I never remember how to pronounce this, Sills Booster XL. This is a lash primer and it's always been my favorite primer, honestly. Um, but then I was gifted it again by Lancome and have revived my love for it. One of my favorite lash primers out there. And again, they've got a duo set on this too. So a good time to grab it if you're interested in it. And still Lancome. You guys are starting to learn I'm a Lancome girl here. I do have some of these products truly are like my staples and favorites all from Lancome. So um, this is the eye makeup remover. Um, probably my favorite makeup remover there is other than like makeup balms. And so this one is on a deal as well. Yeah, they have YSL mascara as well. I have done this one. I thought I had it on me, but I guess I must have emptied it and I didn't realize. But I would say this is an average mascara. I'm normally a huge YSL person, um, but I felt like the mascara was just so-so, but it is, there is a deal on it too. The Lash, Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara in a duo set, uh, normally $58 retail, gonna get it for $43 on the sale. And if you are a NARS lover, they have the classic, classic shade Orgasm, as well as Deep Throat, um, little duo set in blush gonna be $40 originally 68 another favorite mascara these are a lot of mascaras guys um the mac stack this is like a favorite of all time for me personally um but this is gonna be on sale in like a duo set as well for $36 also wanted to point out they have this cute little mac um travel brush set on sale too for $55 and I have this it has been really cute and anytime that I use like a cream uh, blush I actually really like to use this brush here but I always take this as like my little travel set when I travel and it's so adorable and cute and they actually have worked out as pretty darn good brushes and you even have a little angled brush that I can do like my little wing with my um, eyeshadow for eyeliner so I figured I'd mention it that it is on sale. I also noticed that you've got a little um MAC eyeshadow um, travel compact on sale for $39, originally 57. 
Um, the reason I pointed out is because I have one. It's not the same color story, but just to give you a feel for the size and what these would look like. And it's very handy, like for travel and really cute. Um, and I really like it. So um, that's why I figured I'd point it out, but you're also going to get a gel eyeliner with it. So I apologize. I said the wrong price on the compact. The whole thing is 57 together. And then you're going to get all, both of these together for $39. Okay. We've also got the recent YSL Love Shine lip oils that have been very popular. Um, I do own a couple of them, but I don't have the particular shade. However, I have a different version of the Love Shine that is a similar shade. So I'm going to show you, um, my actual love shines this is you know they are more of that um shinier sheer lip oil formula they've come out with a couple other formulations that are still love shine but you have the candy glaze and you have the uh butter bombs as well i have a whole video out there um with swatches on that one um but this one's kind of that original one that they first came out with of love shine so they're going to have a duo set of this, um, I think is a pretty good deal if you've been wanting to try it. I am going to show you the finish of this one, but it's not the same color that you'd be getting in it. Looks like you're going to be getting 44 nude lavalier as well as 150 nude lingerie. So fairly like neutrals. So I'll show you though the shade that's probably closest to your nude lavalier however you pronounce it, this is one of the Butter Bombs, and it's in shade 44B. So, it's a little more pink toned on me, though. <laughs> so, that's probably as close as I'm going to get it for you. And then there's also a uh, Benefit Mini Brow Set for only $22. Um, I, would, I was all over this. However, it doesn't look like they have my shade because the 3.5 is missing. But if it happens to be in your shade, definitely what I would grab. This is my go-to brow. I'm wearing it now even though I'm out of, I'm running out of my pencil. You're going to get this little guy who is the Lash Laminator. You're going to get this one, which is the brow pencil, but these are the minis. Um, so, which I actually ended up having to grab on the Sephora sale because they were sold out of the full size and I just desperately needed my benefit brow, but this is my number one. So I went through a lot of the makeup. I mostly was pointing out a lot of the ones I have and have tried and can vouch for for you guys. Um, I still have more to share, but I'm going to share the rest of the makeup in my wish list section because there's some that are more on my wish list now. Um, I'm also going to share a few more things in beauty like fragrance and skincare and whatnot. Fragrance, I'll point out the ones I own or have tried. If you've been looking for the new YSL Libre, this might be a good time to grab it because they have this on sale as a little gift set. You can get the full size um, as well as a little travel spray in it. And um, I do like the scent. I'm much more of a fan of this original one versus the, I think it's called the Intense. I don't like the Intense version as much, but this one is definitely a poppin' one. Um, pretty sexy perfume. The notes do include a lavender essence. Orange Blossom is in the middle, and Musk Accord is the base note. So um, I have enjoyed it as a nice designer perfume. This one was also gifted to me by YSL. I'm a lucky girl, I know. <laughs> And additionally, if you've been around here, you'll know I talk about this perfume all the time, and that is the Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb Perfume Tiger Lily. Oh my goodness, absolute favorite. I own the, the Tiger Lily version. I think that the one is on sale, though, is the original Flower Bomb. I have just come to love the Flower Bombs, um, my favorites of all. So I do notice this one's on sale, too. It's going to be in a full size as well as a travel spray, too. I want to point out for those of you who are my Macy's Beauty Box subscribers, you will have noticed in my spoilers video that we are going to be getting for the month of July a sample perfume of the Valentino Born in Roma. Um, so this one is actually on sale right now on the in sale. So it will be a full size and a travel spray. So hopefully you will get your Macy's Beauty Box in time for this sale and you can sniff it and see if you love it. And if you do, you have the opportunity to buy this on sale. Just wanted to point that out for you. All right, and then on skincare, just like uh, as I talked about with the Macy's Beauty Box, we also just had a Kiehl's takeover box on Macy's where we got to try a bunch of Kiehl's skincare. You do have the opportunity for 
more um, a full size and travel size of the facial cleanser and the ultra facial cream and I did really enjoy both of these products so this is your opportunity to nab it up too. One that I really want to vouch for is this Lancome um, Absolute Revitalizing and Brightening Skincare Gift Set. Okay, very expensive still. The sale is going to be $252, but the retail value is usually $476, so close to $500. You're getting about half off almost here. So this is a big deal. Um, still going to be very pricey, but I'm going to tell you this skincare, this moisturizer, best I think I have ever tried. Amazing stuff. Like, I am considering plunking down the money for it. If I didn't have so much skincare already, I would buy this in a heartbeat. So this is definitely a deal, and one that I will vouch for is amazing. Now, it's amazing if you've got skin like mine, maybe mature skin, dry skin. It's a very moisturizing um, lotion, but uh, incredible stuff. Also, in Lancome, again, love this serum. Um, I also did have the Pro, the Clarifique um, serum as well. Both of these are deals. I have a whole review video out there on the Clarifique. Actually, I just don't have the bottle anymore. I saw great results using that serum. And then I have several of these as well. So either of these serums, highly recommend. The Clarifique is a little bit more for brightening dark age spots and whatnot, but it was also good, I think, for like sensitive skin, like a better version of that. Um, and then this one is the Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate, so general, um, you know, anti-aging and whatnot. And back to some more Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, the Magic Cream. If you've been around my channel, you'll know I love this stuff. One of my favorite moisturizers also, and it is um, gonna be up for a big deal as well. Now, I am gonna say I just recently got the Magic Serum not too crazy about it. There is a smell in it that's weird. It just, no, I wasn't as huge of a fan after using it for a little while now, but the Magic Cream, this stuff's amazing. So um, there is a sale on this one too. If you're a big fan, good time to stock up on it. I want to point out, if you have um, heard me talk about microcurrent devices in skincare tools, um, I have shared my microcurrent video out there and some of the benefits of, you know, the microfacials. Um, the new face is probably the most popular one and well-known one out there, and it will be on sale on this for $265, normally almost $400. So if you're interested in it, a nice time to grab it. Um, but since I already have one, I, I just don't own this one, but I know this is definitely a popular pick of many. Okay, so that's kind of everything I just wanted to point out to you in beauty. Uh, more so from the standpoint of things I recommend that I have tried or own right now that I wanted to just share and say, hey, yeah, I like this. I think it's a good product and it's, you know, a deal if you're interested in it. Now, though, I'm going to share my actual wish list of the things I have my eye on. I actually have a whole page you can create. You can go to the Nordstrom site or the Nordstrom app and you can set up your own wish list and just put all the things you have your eye on. Um, in your list. Okay, so that's what we're going to share now is my wish list. And so I'll start off with beauty since we've been talking about beauty, but I have some in other categories as well. But what's on my list, and I'm not saying I'm going to get all this because this will be very expensive. <laughs> if you see my wish list right now, there's a lot of dollar value on it right now. So it's going to get cut down a lot. But these are just the things I'm looking at. First thing I'm looking at is this Armani Prisma Glass Lip Gloss Duo. This is something that came out, I think this was coming out around like maybe back at the Sephora sale. It was pretty new back then and I had it in my cart and didn't end up getting it. But the fact that it's a duo here, I still might want to get it. There is also the YSL um, Couture Color Clutch Eyeshadow Palette. I still haven't done an, a YSL eyeshadow. They have new ones that just dropped in new shades at Macy's. It has not come out at Nordstrom yet. And I'm so bummed. I'm like, if they had these on the sale, that'd be great. But they don't usually have like a brand new release on the sale. Just going to let you know in beauty. Um, but they have one of these larger palettes and they look like the YSL clutch purse, you know, on the outside, the packaging. I just, I've had my eye on these things for a while and I've wanted to try them. So they're on sale for $100 right now. So I have my eye on it, but I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. <laughs> we'll see. 
I've also got my eye on the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Power powder, but also with the brush. I have wanted both the brush and to try the setting powder for a while, so having it as a duo, definitely have my eye on it. I love that dual-ended brush. And then we also have the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I have it in the mini right now, but her basically her airbrush um, flawless setting spray. Love this stuff, and I've been wanting to get it anyway. And then I got this in like a sample from her when I did a haul. But since I've been wanting to have this for my kit, um, my professional makeup kit, while it's on sale like this, you know, there's a duo set. Um, I might want to grab it. So it's, I think this is a great deal for anybody if you're interested in this kind of ride or die setting spray. Um, but particularly for me, it's in my wish list because I need it for my kit. Okay, and then we have, I've always wanted to try Westman Atelier and they have this uh, highlight stick duo that's going to be on sale for $40 right now. I don't know, I've thought about it. So you got two shades, one is in Nectar and one Brulee. Okay, so that was in makeup. Now, something in fragrance. This is probably like number one in my cart right now or on my wish, wish list. Like I'm seriously considering getting it. And that is the vacation fragrance by vacation. Been really wanting to do vacation. We got their like sunscreen in um, the trend mood box. And now I want to do more, but I've been dying to try this. It's like a, supposed to be feeling like sunscreen and on vacation. Um, truly my vibes. So this one's gonna be on sale for 79 on the sale. So that actually includes the fragrance, so Eau de Perfume, as well as the shimmering oil with SPF. Um, and it's SPF 30, I believe. So this is probably like number one that I think I'm gonna be picking up on the sale. Uh, this is the one that's like, yes, yes. So don't y'all make it sell out, please. <laughs> okay, and then another couple that I do have my eye on, I'm thinking about, and that's the Good Girl perfumes. You have two different sets. You've got the Good Girl and then you've got the Good Girl Blush. Just, it's kind of all similar fragrances, but different sizes, I guess, depending on which one you want to go for. I just, I I really liked this scent um, and got the chance to try it in the Macy's Beauty Box too. So it's just on my mind to kind of collect the Good Girl ones. So do have my eye on that one. There's a few others I've gotten to try that I see in here but they're not my fragrance. I don't love them, so I probably won't, they're not gonna be on my wish list. <laughs> okay, so I think that was everything in beauty for me on my wish list. A few other things more in fashion. Um, like I said, I wasn't really feeling that much, a lot of the purses and bags, which is what I tend to look for on this sale a lot. Um, but I love, love this little um, crossbody or like clutch that you can wear from Kate Spade. I love the pink, so I'm really tempted on this, honestly. Um, that's probably the one that stands out for me the most. And then, as I mentioned before, I need a new pair of cowgirl boots. So in shoes, I am scoping a couple things out. One is this cute little pair of cowgirl boots. They match pretty closely, the pair that I used to have, and I just need like a neutral color, kind of goes with everything. Um, I love to wear them, especially with like cute dresses or with my jeans, you know. Um, I'm a little, I'm Southern, so I have that like, I love cowgirl boots <laughs> and I love country music. So <laughs> I got to have at least one pair of cowgirl boots. And so I was so bummed when mine went out. It was actually a special pair that one of my best friends had bought me a long time ago for our Nashville trip that we had a big Nashville girls trip. And so they were very sentimental. So I was so upset, but the, the sole basically came off. So, um, so anyway, I have these cowgirl boots in mind. Um, I also, I really kind of want a pair of Tory Burch flip-flops. I love these cute little flip-flops, can't resist. And then I am a sucker for a very cute and cozy pair of slippers. So I have these slippers from Ugg, um, especially on my mind, but I'm one of those, like I don't have to have Uggs, they can just be Ugg-like. So I don't know if I'm really even gonna plunk that down even on a sale, I don't know, but they're cute. <laughs> um, then I have, I don't have a whole lot of jewelry in there, but I do like these um, Kendra Scott earrings. I always need just nice, like kind of a stud, but maybe a little bit bigger that stand out with my dark hair. I do like these and I think that's a great price. So I have those in mind. And then y'all, I love me some Barefoot Dreams. So I always look at the Barefoot Dreams deals at every sale. 
I am going to say I'm not very impressed this year. In the past, they've had the cardigans and like more clothes. And this year, it's like just down to a couple of blankets. And I don't know, it's not that great, but I love their socks. So I'm looking at like several pairs of socks in different colors, gray, black, white, or beige. Um, they also make great gifts, by the way. Um, so comfy. And then I don't really need more blankets though, but I'm considering a pair of PJs because they just look so soft and comfy. And I am such a sucker for like a really comfy pair of PJs and loungewear. Like I'm kind of pampered in that regard. So considering it. And last, sunglasses. Okay, there's two I'm looking at. I probably won't plunk down this money, guys, but I am in love with these sunglasses. There's this, this pair from Gucci, and there's this pair from Dior. There is no way I'm going to spend $350 on a pair of sunglasses, but I sure do want them. <laughs> and the Gucci, like, it's either or. I don't have to have both, but like, but, oh, I want these. So they're on my wish list, but it's kind of more like a let's dream wish list. I'm, it's probably not going to show up. If anybody would like to donate a pair to me, I will gladly accept. <laughs> so that's everything in my wish list. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like I said, I will not be getting everything, but this is what I have my eye on in my wish list. But then, you know, I also just kind of wanted to share you guys with you guys a lot of the beauty deals that are out there that I know I have tried and can vouch for just kind of highlight those um, and share all my tips overall with you guys. So sorry, it's turned into a very long video. Hopefully the um, timestamps help, you know, I probably should have broken this into more sections and videos, but I wanted to kind of go ahead and start getting the information out there for you since we're two weeks away from the general public shopping and about like a week, a week and a half away from early access. So Make sure that you stay tuned though to my like to know page, um, my shop, so that as I do see even more deals or some of these, I will put them there and you can follow um, and follow me on there in general for a lot of different sales. And if this was helpful to, for you and you want to continue um, to get the scoop on different sales out there, different beauty deals and beauty reviews, you will want to stick around here and pop that subscribe, turn the notification bells to on so you don't miss more in the future. Happy shopping. Let me know what you guys are all picking up on the Nordstrom sale if you are shopping it, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.